Good morning, good morning. It's been a crazy, mad, busy weekend for me at concerts, getting tattoos and all sorts of stuff. So I am very, very glad to be back at work, to be honest, and get a bit of normality back to things today. We're on our way to a really easy, nice, beautifully maintained farm. Oh my God. Time this morning, did you know? What? It's a bit harsh, isn't it? I'm stuck in traffic. Ah, uh, so you are. We're on our way to a place just to do some routine trimming. There might be one lame cow because sometimes he's got one lame cow out of the 300 that he does have. Anyway, let's crack on and enjoy the rest of today. Even worth the week. You're lucky to have me. Okay, so I'm going to do things a little bit differently in this video. I'm just going to sit back, relax, and let you guys watch these feet be trimmed in a routine manner. There is only one lame cow on this farm right now. And that's because I've been visiting this farm for the last eight years, and they never, ever miss a cow that's due to be routinely trimmed. Anyway, guys, I'm going to shut up. I'm not going to explain what I'm doing. I'm just going to let the trimming do the talking. Hope you enjoy it.
You okay? Beautiful. This is really what I do on a day to day basis. Trim cows with feet like this to prevent them from going lame.
So as you can obviously see, the feet of that farm are pretty much perfect. But it's not by chance and it's not by luck. And it's not just because the environment's fantastic. In fact, the environment isn't fantastic. It's a bit of an older farm, but it's really well looked after. And I've been going to that farm for about eight years now and they never, ever mess a routine trim. Basically, what they do is they trim every cow before drying off. So in other words, before she's due to calve. They trim every cow 100 to 110 days after she's calved. And visually, and this is the big one, visually, if they are overgrown in the slightest little bit or not perfectly level, then those cows are pulled out and I trim them the very next visit. And in fact, while I'm there, James will have an extra special, an extra close look around the farm for anything else that isn't completely level. So this is the real benefit of routine trimming. There was one lame cow on that farm today, one out of about 300. What's that like? 0.3% lameness when the average is probably around seven or eight for the UK. So guys, if you want a herd like that, you can do it just by religiously and rigorously routine trimming your cattle constantly for a long period of time. If you have a lot of lame cows, what you should do is you should start with your routine trimming right now, right today, and take the lame cows as a separate entity. So trim them, yep, keep trimming them until they're better but start your routine start your routine trimming right now anyway guys i've been graham parker and you've been awesome again and that's craig what smash that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up because it helps everyone else find it and tune in next time for some more hoof gp cheers guys bye